the one without the word by the conduct of their life. He who finds their what? Finds their broken. So Hallelujah. And the first favor from the Lord. Let the woman learn quietly with all submissiveness. I do not permit a woman to teach or to exercise authority over a man. Rather, she is to remain quiet. For Adam was found first, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman was deceived and began to transgress her. Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife. Even as Christ is the head of the church, his body and his himself is Savior. Now, as the church submits to Christ, so also the wife sub should submit in everything to your husband. Who can find the church? Let us kneel down for an input. Humble voice to the throne of our holy grace. 
Starting with these in general conflicts. We confess that we have sinned against you and against our neighbors in thoughts, word, and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate thoughts. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our sins and enable us to serve you with greatness of life. We ask this through the Lord of Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives the sin of them that confess with repentant hearts, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness. And keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord's Prayer. Our Lord. Which art in hell, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and thy sins as sin in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And give us not into the temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever.
good pleasure. Praise God. Shake it together. And run over. Shall men keep on their clothing. The man is so many women. The so many women, you know, saw a stranger, a man of God, Elijah. Every time he passes, every time he passes, he's going to be passing, he's going to be passing, he's going to be passing. He's going to be passing. Please, he's going to be passing. 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 So it is very good. 
So let us be sure upon them in your minds. So you are being protected. You have to learn as a child of God to tolerate. We need to tolerate one another. And that will make us to have to be God will look at us as his own children. Praise the Lord. Then we read again. Remember, everybody has weakness. So you have your own weakness, I have my own weakness. So every human and the food is divine. So we should learn to love ourselves and then not to carry grudges against each other. So by so doing, we will be called sons and daughters of God. Then like the last one said that above all things, we should put on words, love. If God is there all together in battle there, we need it. So God is the only one that can help us to have this type of thing. All these qualities in us. In the song we sang last day, God, give us this example. God, give us this example. Where you where your peace, your joy will be seen. It's only by understanding that it's only by prayer that God will help us to have all these things we are asking for. So we pray and say, God, I need you to help me to love myself, to love one another. Love is very important. If you read just for instance, I can say that if you have all the qualities, but if you don't have love, you are not made in the It's only love that can take us to heaven. And Jesus is love. And he wants us to also to have that type of love, and that the love. The love that does not look at anything. We just love because God is love. So we need to love one another and cherish one another, forgive one another, tolerate each other, so that we can move on and be the people of God. And the children of God will continue to move ahead and the place of hell shall not be there against us. The God bless the world, we are tired and help us to be doers of the world and not the other thing. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we are grateful. We are grateful, God, because those who we love, we always direct, we always teach. We have found your word. We need you to help us to put the things we have done today into practice that we will become sons and daughters of the living God in the ancient of days. For in Jesus, my name is pray. Amen.
Father, we are praying for divine direction. So God, my Lord and my King, God, we cannot do without you, Lord, and that we feel this as in you, we are feeling in vain. That is why the women have come upon you to stay over. Father, Lord, committing the leadership of our Savior and the natural one to your hands, Lord. Father, Lord, we pray, O God, that you bless them highly, O God, with the strength, O Father, to build this house, O Father, to your own glory, to the shame of the devil. Father, Lord, we thank you, O God, bless them, bless their family, O God, trust them in all their ways, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as they walk in your name, they are broken, they are not going to walk again, O Father, to hold the mercy. Father, you bless their wife, you bless their feet. You bless the queen, you bless the family, and I might see you in my Jesus. Amen. Amen. When we fall into the presence of our story,
Ainda mais que não é uma palavra A nossa mãe é a nossa mãe, a nossa mãe, a nossa mãe, a nossa mãe. Dividindo as ideias de Deus, a gente talvez, para a vida de Deus, a gente vai a nossa mãe, a nossa mãe, a nossa mãe, a nossa mãe, a nossa mãe. Hoje nós vamos ir a te dar um abraço para a Deus, eu não gosto, só acho que, só que isso é tudo. Então, o livro de Deus é da doação. O ódio está vivendo a forma da paz. E Jesus não é que vem. Agora, para a nossa mãe, a gente vai a nossa mãe, e a nossa mãe, e a nossa mãe, e a nossa mãe, e na terceira, a minha letra. Tem o nome, o ódio de terra, de ansar de distante. Tem o nome, Pode ser da vista, 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 pode We are so thankful for you, for our answer to this. That's what we are passing through. We know that you, God, is the Father of God. Thank you, O God, for the mercy that has been finding for our country. If not the mercy of God, I don't know what to do in our country. Father, we thank you. We worship you. We bless you. In Jesus' name. Our heavenly Father, Until I hand over God, we come to our country. But we are sorry in this hour that you, God, will help us with God. Help our leaders. Give them wisdom. Give them direction. Give them some money. Put their hearts to God. For the Bible says that the hearts of the kings are in your hands. Father, my God, my God. Father, we pray that you, God, will touch them. That is how they are still set to God. Give them the direction so that they will know what to do at the end of the time in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, we also pray that you, God, will answer our, our prayers in that country, O God. The, the, the people are living here. The Bible says in Isaiah 1 verse 10, He said, We are not that you are our God. And you, God, will have told us with the righteous name. Father, we pray that you God will put in your word unto our country and revive our country and give us peace. Give our country rest in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Our Father, we thank you because we know that you God answered us. From Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. We pray in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God and the spirit of the Holy Spirit, they will be us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 At this time, we would like to welcome those with their ties to the pledge of the Lord. They will be fired with the people of the Lord.
will have every woman uh, please let us follow the order, the ignorance and all the women leaders will come first and all those who came prepared with the uniform will come and all other countries should come behind them. So at this time please can you move to the western door and come in with your special song. And everyone here, all of the women, is expected to please support them for this time period. Alright? The way you do that is to put your hand in the pressure box of a heaven and put something there. So every woman, whether you have a uniform or not, please, if you can, join them. Have the strength to walk on the back of this place, join them. So we are waiting to be quiet to start the song so you can join. Yeah, we are coming from the coming to your presence.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Today is a special day. I would just like us to lift up our women, wherever you are, if you are a new friend, and if you just stretch your hands towards the water, thank God for our women. Thank God for their lives. Thank God for His faithfulness of all men. And let's be the more for today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Fully and blessed Father, then we thank you. We thank you, Lord of Father, for the ministry of women in the church. We release all the prayers and glory to you. Lord, thank you for the exploits you have used them to do. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for the famous ways they were working hard to lift you all in the various covenants and together as a group in the church. Father, at this time, we give them up to you. We appreciate you for the strength you've given them, for the faith in their lives. Lord, thank you for the law of the heart of Jesus. After the name of the Lord, we say to you, we all the and glory in the name of Jesus. Thank God, we pray that this love will never be finished. Rather than you continue to move from one degree of glory to the other in the name of Jesus. Lord, as the time to present themselves as precious to you, this we ask for this Lord. Jehovah, accept the ministry of our lives and our women in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, may you need to blow them from strength to strength in the name of Jesus. Amen. We call them our fresh in the blood of Jesus. Lord of Jesus. We ask blessed King. We continue to fight the battle. Amen. Lord, continue to fill them with joy from our hope. Amen. And Lord, we pray for them to be your hope. So, for the sake of these your children. Visit our home specially in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we speak word of life and healing to every home presented here in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, you are so good to us. We are the Lord. Meet your children at the point of your face in the name of Jesus. Amen. Some have the fear to keep children. But Lord, you are the I am. I have told us that the name of Jesus, every knee was bowed. We command all knees in all these homes to bow in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, have your way. Mighty God, have your way. May your name be glorified in our Savior and Lutheran Church. As our women move from one degree of glory to the other in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, mighty God. We just hand it over to you, my Lord, and pray that your grace will be more than enough for us in this church in the name of Jesus. Amen.
children ministry to come for their presentation at this time. And after the children ministry, the youth ministry will come for their own presentation. And then the evening will have the rest of the time. We are pleased really that you make good use of the time that we have. We're not rushing you, we're not asking you to rush what you have to prepare. But we can do very well not to waste the time that we have. So please, the youth, wherever you are, start getting set and the children get them to come. The women, please also take note as you have prepared. The children you need extra time. Can you hear me from there? Do you need extra time to prepare? Can we go on with something else as you get there? Can anybody who hears me tell them what I've been saying? The question is, do they need extra time? You have a flow, you need a mic?
Today is we won't have asked the women to go on and the children to retire, but the women retiring the children are part of the next presentation. So please bear with everyone. Um, uh, uh, let, let me take it. Before we have one, these two men, please let our kids come forward. It's in house, however it happens in the world. You can do what you're doing here in front. Of sacrifice are very hardworking. 
father says, be kind to one another. Forgive one another just as Christ has forgiven you. A godly mother has an attitude of persistence. When she needs something, she vows to work on it to get the end result. Even if, it, even if she has to go up to heaven and drive down to the earth and let God do what she wants, the godly mother will do that. Godly mother just doesn't give up. You can imagine a mother, a brand new mother, holding her baby all night, baby crying every second. She has to get up and take the baby, comfort the baby for the peace of the whole family. A godly mother is a servant. Remember, if you have to be a leader, you must serve. This is the point that every one of us has to protest. Just as Christ and his followers, a mother would serve an attitude that does not live for herself, but she lives for others. She does not seek for rewards. She does not serve at her convenience. She serves every time. She understands that when serving, when serving her family and the community, it is also as well as serving God. She lives an orderly life in your family. If, if, if your life is disorganized, the entire family is disorganized. If the mother is not happy, no one is happy in the family. And the children, they live an orderly life in the family in order to grow up and become a decent citizen. A godly mother is an encourager. Our family's children, husband, they all need somebody to support them, to encourage them, whether they are being good or bad. But you must train your children. You must encourage them to show that somebody is behind you. So that when that person grows up, she will know that somebody has already taught him or her something like this. So when they have their own children, they will be able to teach their children what it means to be a comment. A godly mother loves unconditionally. You cannot say, oh, I love this one because she is too smart, or I love this one because she listens to me. No. God has given us all these children. So we must teach them the way that they love. So we must love them just as love has loved us, love her, love her, including in the community. When you see somebody, you want to share your love. Because when we lost, God is also loving us back. And the glory goes to God. A godly mother is respectful. This is where all of us are coming again. You have, you have to respect your husband. You have to respect your community, your family, your church members. When you talk to people, you will be sensitive of what you say. Because how you relate to people, how you talk to people, will also show who you are. And these are the qualities of the God of the Lord that wants to protect. So, yeah, after looking at all this, I conclude that all of us, all of us have to be God in what we do. Since God has created us in His own image, we must act like Christ. And that's what it means, acting like Christ, doing what God wants us to do. So basically, the women of grace, we prepare something that those of us around here and for all of us that are here on behalf of the women of grace, I'm saying, Happy Mother's Day to all the women of the structure. Hallelujah! Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mother of Grace, that is so wonderful. And I have the honor and pleasure to uh, introduce the women of favor for the next round. And on that, I'm going to call on one of the first ladies to take it over from you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
I want to welcome you all to Women of Federal News Time, presented by Temperate Chinwebukumi and Chinwebukumi. Chief Squared, this is going to be a chronic relief. We want you to feel free, laugh out loud whenever you can, relax, enjoy. Hey, Chibani, hmm, Neturideo, my husband thinks he's the only one that knows how to enjoy life. Hmm, how do you go? Yesterday, I knew, after standing three long hours of my aging and very cold sledge to prepare dinner, after we ate, he was in the bag on how much I was Seriously, for us now, my baby shot me. All of a sudden, he said, I'm going to hang out with the boys. I reminded him that our boys just traveled to hell. How is that possible? Which boys? He said, Not our boys, so that his men bodies, his parties. Seriously, I told my husband that I would like to hang out with him and his boys. Nemo, you should have seen the look on his face. Where's he? Nah. Hey, did I offend you? No, thanks, you. But after all my hard work, I need to chill out now. A night out with my girlfriend. We will rejuvenate me too. I love all outings. I need to relax. Really stressed. She did. Or why? You feel me? I do have hypertension and other mechanicals. Keep those illnesses at bay. Mama can have that other way. There is no one that. I hear you, my sister. Love and Christopher. You are worried too. You immodest deserve to wine and dine. Not only for our birthdays, but our time and not at sleep. I think it will be more than three times in a year. Let's not forget the real, the divorced, the single mothers. We are all mothers and need to be appreciated. That's right. Now to you talk. As a matter of fact, a dear friend of mine, who is a single and an amazing mother, was telling me how her kids don't make our time for her. They seem to be busy. If it is not J O B, it is school, or it is this, it is that. It is not only our husbands that need to appreciate us. Our children need to be need to as well, no matter their age. We need to invite in them, Urunna, Norbert. The importance and value of mothers. So you know they are also one day now. Oh. So when the mothers become weak and the mind is like the old people who live with our mother, also they are now in the star ocean. We need to, they need to step up. Mama can I hear who do he?
president to give you money, they'll give you the money. If you tell them, oh, you're going to the Now, see that what do you want? They will give you money. They are understanding that you have a government rule. On her day, so she continues. All of this, you know, mm. Mm. house choice wow. continues with no fail. She will cook to stop all their hope for this. She will go back to work. And the husband, check them out. <laughs> Absolutely. Some men do help, you are very correct. If it is hard on those mothers that are married, can you imagine our fellow mothers that are the only parent? Or those that their husbands work out of state or country? I love my heart to them. They are incredibly awesome. Let's talk about chilling. It is good to chill. There are women that have never taken vacations. The only vacations they took was when they had their babies, which in reality is not a real vacation. Or why should you kill? Okay, this is a public service announcement. It's not too late to buy a gift for your mother or your wife. It's Mother's Day, you still have the rest of the day. So today, on Saturday, we will be unveiling a structured cake after service. This is the opportunity to recognize and appreciate your mother or your wife. It's first come, first served. Over to you, newscasters. Welcome back to the News House. You know, yes, you know, women are very resilient. They're strong. Oh my God, Do you know that my sister has been married for 15 years and they have never taken their family to any vacation? Their kids spend spring breaks, the entire summer, and other breaks at home. It is not only a woman's job to figure out how the family should spend time together. Look at you, Ibo. Mm -hmm. They are always vacationing. Niger should not be the only vacation destination. <laughs> there are so many places in the U.S. to take our families. We need to leave the legacy for our children. It is a quality time we spend together. The things we did with them that they will forever remember us when we are all done. I had the same issue with my husband, but it got better over the years, thank God. Thank God. While we are working to send money to send the entire family to Niger, we can take small, small vacations every year. Ah, how are you? Let's go. We plan ahead of time. These trips are so affordable. For example, how many African fathers take their kids to fishing? Cheap baby. Man, the best thing is gonna be cool. Don't bring any confused here. Fishing here. Ha! That's hilarious. How many of our kids don't have to swim? Hmm? What if the fish got into the water? God forbid. I may go, let them start small, 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 eh? Or put the fish in. Let them start small, small, like sightseeing, family road trips, and so on. But fishing, ha, we go back. Girl, you are too funny. On the most serious note, I don't know my husband knew how to cook until a few weeks ago I fell sick. As I was recovering, I was enjoying the surprise treatment. At the same time, pondering over why I had to be sick. 
for my husband to show me that he knows how to cook. I thanked him, but I've seen hope, my love hope. For over 25 years we've been married, you never helped me to cook for once until I felt sick. He said, nah, nah for better for worse. And I stepped in when it was worse. My friend, can we imagine? Now kind of <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me bring back on that my sister. A woman is like an egg. One in an hour. It was in an hour. And I said, I'm going to get a wolf. I'm going to get away from the hour. Yes, she, she has to be pampered. Hmm? You carry her with care so she doesn't crack. She is like a delicate flower. We do not want our beautiful petals to be bruised or withered due to lack of care. We care. We care. We care for all. Who cares for us? It is wonderful for our husbands and our children to show appreciation for all we want us to. Oh, it's a woman. Don't cook today. Take a rest. Or, mom, I got you. Come pull up your feet and relax. A lot of responsibilities are heaped on our shoulders and sometimes you forget or slack. Mm -hmm. We may be judged for not stepping up. What we want us to like to see is family of team players, mutual respect and understanding, various competition skills. These helps to the bond between couples and between mothers. And the children and between mothers and children and make the family unit stronger. You are right. So, what did you cook today to celebrate Mother's Day? It's my official day off. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Today is your special day. So just sit down and relax, okay? Deceived him to eat the fruit. God said, Okay. 
because you have disobeyed me, I'm going to cause you. Because it's today that man must must sweat before he eat. And the God calls the woman. He said, because you have done this, in time bearing, you will be suffer. Today all of us are suffering, but I thank God. That uh, you know, through their because we serve a compassionate God, you know, children came out, all of us are descendants of his and the other. Praise the Lord. So the Bible recorded the woman that God used to, uh, to brought his son, Jesus Christ, to us. That is a woman that feared the Lord. A woman that gave her life to Christ when she was very tender and he hears from the Holy Spirit. That's why when she was pregnant, you know, she did not see her because she knew that God, you know, was using her. Praise the Lord. So when she had this son, Jesus Christ, who is our Savior, the Savior of the world A lot of things changed. So, his, um, Mary's um, uh, sister, Elizabeth, Elizabeth was one of the women God used so much in the Bible. Elizabeth was the mother of John the Baptist. John the Baptist was the forerunner of Jesus Christ. And he was the person that baptized Jesus Christ. There are men and there are women God used so mightily. And Mary, Mary, the, the sister to Martha, who was always you know, listening to Jesus whenever Jesus came to their house. Mary, Mary put Christ first. And uh, why Martha, her sister, was always cooking, you know, to make Jesus comfortable. After preaching, Jesus will eat food. So that was her job. All of them, they were, they loved Christ. That's why when Lazarus, their brother, died, Jesus was so compassionate enough to uh, raise Lazarus from the dead. Praise the Lord. So there are like women, a lot of women. You know, if you read their Bible, people, uh, somebody like you. Ruth, Ruth was a young widow. Her husband died so young. But this Ruth, she stood by her mother, mother-in-law. She was a mother. She loved her mother-in-law so much. She told the mother-in-law, I will never give you anywhere you die that she will die. But at last, the Bible recorded that you know, she was favored through a man and her life changed. Praise the Lord. And somebody like Hannah. Hannah was so desperate to have a son. And uh, as God promised him, because the Lord was serving his covenant in God. Whatever he said he would do, that he would do. So Hannah prayed. And God visited her with a son. Called Samuel and Hannah dedicated the son to the Lord in the house of uh, uh, Eli the priest. Later he became the priest. Praise the Lord. And the Bible told us about Esther, an orphan girl, who God used so mightily to save her people. And the Bible recorded that she became a queen. And the happy people were set. Praise the Lord. And the Bible recorded that our Sarah, Sarah was Abraham's wife, that God blessed with a son called Isaac at the age of 90 years. Praise the Lord. And uh, somebody like uh, Prophet said to Deborah, they were women of great faith. You know, they served the Lord, 
with all their mind, with all their faith, and God use them. May God use us as He used them. In the name of Jesus.
Thank you very much. In the name of the Lord, the Reverend, the blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. With heavy hearts, we announce the death of Sir Dr. Emily K. Omura, the husband of Evangelist Lady Chingwe Omura, our Lady, children of Field Walker, member of the Night Group. The husband died yesterday morning in Nigeria. On to his death, he was the director of Vassar Nigeria Medical Center. Renaissance Hospital, both at the village and the square. May the soul of the departed in Christ rest in perfect peace. Amen. Amen. It is worth mentioning that just last statement of the Diocese of Kusuka, that the bishop decided to award him professional status, having shared the signal for more than Three consecutive times. Each time on the same last three years. We have seen each other for 90 years. And each of the years, we have been going to the service and so on. And as the leader of the night, we have been for several years. We have been going to the Lord's name in Jesus' name. Amen. Today is the fifth Sunday after Easter, our vocation Sunday, and our Women's Day, the Monday Sunday. We all welcome to the service in Jesus' name. Amen. Please bear with me, I know we should take this time, but can we recognize the visitors in our midst? Please, if you are here and you are inviting your visitor, please can you just stand? We want to welcome, we want to recognize you in a special way. You are welcome in the name of the Lord, of oh, the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord, of the Lord. We can see all over you, the glory of the Lord. We appreciate you. 
you are welcome. May the Lord begin to strengthen you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us just lift up our new commands unto the Lord. Father, we thank you for all. Even those that are missing us, we are as mighty God. They are staying with us with a happy one. And uh, by the time they are gone and about going back to their returning destinations, so we keep them, bless them. And those that are coming for the first time to the Lord, thank you for your faithfulness. We pray that from this day henceforward, we will receive the activities of the church in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We still want to remind those of the activities for the week. From Monday to Wednesday, these are vocation days. Days of moving into the house of the Lord, praying with fasting, remembering the fruits of the land. May the Lord continue to prosper and strengthen us as we walk through these vocation days in the name of Jesus. Amen. So on the 7 p.m., we will have prayers here in the church. On Wednesday, 7 p.m. to we'll have a midweek service and then the Bible study. Remember, we told you, enter the new and very interesting and challenging series. Guidelines for victorious living. Guidelines for victorious living. You don't have to miss any of those Bible studies. Please make up time. Come in. The Lord will bless you abundantly in Jesus' name. Amen. On Thursday is the Ascension Day. Please bear that in mind. We are moving past to another section of the calendar, the church calendar. On Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 9 p.m., we are still reminded of our family meeting. For the prayers, we normally have our Savior Clinton Church family at 9 p.m. Please, it's your prayer. It's your own meeting. Stop upsetting yourself. Let us have it together and continue with the Lord. Amen. On such day at 11, from 11 to 1 p.m., we we'll have our confirmation classes. Please make our time. The children's service at 9 a.m. is now. Out of the new service at 11, the Lord will need to turn to us as we serve in the name of Jesus. Next Sunday will be Holy Communion Service. And for the birthday and anniversary celebrations at the end of May, please give your names to the Indian uh, Choir Director. We would like to celebrate you with a special way this, this way in the name of Jesus. We we'll also congratulate our members that have passed the exams. Thank God for the graduating class. Some of them have already graduated. Since God, we all the praise and all the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. We still see what to do later. Amen. Amen. Before I step aside, I would like to invite somebody that is special to us today. Hello. Would you like to know that somebody is too concerned about whatever is happening here? And I'm talking about the leader, the general leader of our Savior American Church Man. Uh, Brother Max, listen, are you still there? 
Max Reserva plays the Nuka Award, who is no longer there. Okay, who did he hand over to? And they will say, 
Gracious Rebecca. Thank you. 
keep reminding you that uh, we would like to use a, a little bit different format to uh, unveil the cake. Don't feel offended when you're not giving the microphone to speak. And uh, we will just uh, give you individuals the mic to uh, say the donations themselves. But after that, we'll wrap it up quickly just by mentioning your name, acknowledging the donation you're making and putting your name down. Um, this was not part of the plan. The case is supposed to be out. So, um, actually, there's nothing else to be done in this service other than this. So, let us just wait. The dinner committee will give us just a five minute sensitization and reminder of what we are doing for dinner this year. But that will be after we unveil the cake. Um, don't rush so the cake doesn't fall down. Men, 
of our Savior Anglican Church to come and stand in gap for the rest of the congregation and help us unveil this cake. You can see our daughters here, um, Kachi, oh yeah, you, and if you are already really getting tired, I'm sure your hands are weary. But we need to unveil this cake and we need to open it up so we can cut it officially and we need this man to help us. So if I call your name, please, please, please oblige us, oblige the women. And uh, join me here so you can help us unveil this cake. Without further ado, Dr. Costa and Shane, please can you join us on the floor? Thank you everyone for talking, thank you for joining, thank you for sharing. Dr. and Shane, please can you join us on the floor? Thank you everyone for talking, thank you for sharing. Dr. and Shane, please can you join us on the floor? Thank you everyone for talking, thank you for sharing. Dr. and Shane, please can you join us on the floor? Thank you everyone for talking, thank you for sharing. Dr. and Shane, please can you join us on the floor? Thank you everyone for talking, thank you for sharing. Satine Oyeju, please join us. Mr. H.K. Obukwele, please join us up here. Mr. H.K. Obukwele, please join us up here. Thank you. Professor Chris Ulasi, please join us. Up in the front. Professor Chris Ulasi, please join us. Um, I called five names and I'm only got two. So that man is not working out. <laughs> Right now, okay. I see Mr. Bukwe coming out, so that's me. Thank you very much. Okay, all right. There you go, sir. Thank you. Also, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay. It's time. The cake is here. And the question is, do we unveil it? Or leave it and take it back? <laughs> Of a sick of a new room, and then they have the other one. I don't know if they have a new room. I don't know if they have a new room. I don't know if they have a new so be sure, be sure to be happy today. And we have plenty of everything else for you today. Um, we have to unveil this cake. Yes, because uh, you all suffered and put some money, level and everything to get it here. So it's already here and we have to unveil it, right? Um, on behalf of all our ladies in the house, all mothers, all women. I say, let's go ahead and unveil it. And uh, I will support for this day to be unveiled with a sum of $100.
you very much for using us brand new name, our partner sources from Solasi. Okay, from Solasi wants us to keep moving and said he's going to support on getting the cake in the sum of $100. So, thank you so Thank you so much. And I'll hand move this on to uh, Mr. Bumel. Oh, sir, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I know you guys can't see the cake, but my peripheral allows you to see the cake. It's a very beautiful cake. So we want to thank the cake committee, the sacrament ministry, for inviting me to be a part of this. Um, I won't say too much. I'll support with um, a sum of 150. Yes. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kukukula. We appreciate you. Now we're going to be chair. Oswe. Happy Mother's Day to everybody that is here, or mother that is here. You know, I know how much you guys put up to with us. And uh, without wasting your time, I'm going to support you people with your sum of $200. Thank you. Thank you so much, We appreciate you. Okay, so now I'm going to ask the mothers and I'm going to ask the audience. Do you think we've got we've had so far that we can go ahead and just escape or no? No. People, people don't leave. So, are you guys saying yes or no? No! Oh, okay, so it looks like the no, I'm hearing more of the no than yes. So what that means is that every single man of our Savior and Christian church is going to say something to the women. Right? Yes! Every single man. So that we can cut this cake and give to all of our guests, all of our kids, and all of the men as well, as well as women. So everybody has to say something to us, and uh, support the women to support the work of God. So if we can just uh, go ahead and, you know, anybody can just stand up and tell us and let us know what you're going to do. As I pray for God. <laughs> so I'm here on behalf of God, some of you. I know you have to stand up and say, this is your only one. So I'm going to support the game with some of you. Thank you so much. Dr. Ogilwe, thank you, and please extend our gratitude from Dr. Ogilwe. Thank you, this is the spirit. We sent a message to him, and even though he was not present, he made sure that those in the area may God bless you and reward you mightily in Jesus' name. Okay, so if you look at us, we are one, we have a number, phone number there, so for those of us watching online, please, if you need to support us, reach out to um, the phone number that's there, on the phone number to Dr. Ogilwe, Mrs. Ogilwe, Mishina, just text her. And let us, let us know how much you want to uh, support us with, and we'll be able to get that together. Okay, and it looks like our, our music, uh, <laughs> our, our music extraordinary, Obi, wants to support us, somebody give him a mic. Come on, don't worry about it, Jen. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. 